I don't think he is the biggest natural talent, but he is a hard worker and that's why I put so much effort in. If I wouldn't see the, the potential last year, at some point I could still you know, just say, ah, it's, a, it's a good job, I, I, I drive here, we have, a, you know, racing is not so good, but we have good hotels, so uh, enjoy the year. But I want to, to, to prepare him. You can test 100 times, you can make five 24 hours or 30 hour tests, there is still a lot of chance that the race can go wrong. So bringing someone to Le Mans on a safe way for everybody and on a way where we possibly have also a chance to compete there on an okay level is a big, big effort for everybody. Le Mans was always like something that I never really thought was possible. But I was like, well, that's the pinnacle. You know, that's kind of, you know, the dream, but you don't think of the journey, the work that goes in, the discipline, the rejection, the failure. You don't think of those things. And what I'm sort of realized after the last two seasons is what it takes to actually turn up at a race weekend and be competitive. I really want to realize my full potential while doing this. And because, you know, it's an amazing opportunity and it could be like a one-shot deal, I want to be there and be at my best. connection from to rear with the change, whatever you did, I have no idea. Um, Nothing big, but yeah. Huh? Nothing big, but yeah. It was obvious that the tire was not in the right window by mixing the pit. It was very awesome. All about this year, it directly it's not able to, to grip. Ich stelle vor, wir würden auch noch was fragen. Stelle, weil normalerweise gehe ich zum Ingenieur und sage, schau mal die und die Runde an, wieso und das und das. Ne? Das lasse ich alles bleiben. Ich mache nur die grob die grob Setup-Geschichte, wo ich ihm vorgib, wo er noch relativ leicht eine Entscheidung treffen kann. Ne? Ja. Ist ja nicht so, dass wir jetzt irgendwas gefragt haben schon. For the 2021 season, the biggest change obviously is the new car. Instead of running the RSR 17, we're now running the RSR 19, also with a new spec of tires, which obviously as a new part was something that we didn't know. If you have a new car, um, it's already uh, a big change for, for a racing team or a race engineer to understand the new car, to find the, the, the good setup. Um, if you change a car and a tire, um, you have a lot of possibilities to run in all directions. 
The balance of the car is something that you really need, I think, an engineer that knows how to operate such an aero package. And that's something that I think we really realized in its full at the first race this season. One of our engineers from last year, Johannes, who was the main race engineer, retired. So for the 2021 season, we actually only had uh, Arne as our main race engineer. Arne is fantastically experienced to work with both sort of the car and the drivers. But he was trying to do too many things at once because he's trying to understand this new car as well, trying to figure out the best setup for the car. Um, he's getting the feedback from all of us as drivers, and he's also dealing with the new uh, tire compound. I think it's good everybody gets at least some laps on the new brakes to get used to it. Sure. Uh, so take it easy, build it up gently. Philip is now in, so we keep the pressures. When Michael Gobert is back in, we maybe have to boost him again. Flip the box, box, box. Michael, ready check, one, two, three. Check, check, check. Brakes feel very strange. Very stiff. Everything under control. So looking at our overall performance, um, we were struggling quite a bit. I mean, not just the drivers that had to do with, uh, so many different things, also Arne was struggling and um, it was quite obvious that we were one man short. Wir brauchen einen, der ganz klar einen Fahrplan vorgibt, der mich unterstützt, der einfach während des Fahrens schon viel weiter guckt und schon sieht und sobald Mike rausgeht, eigentlich schon das Problem. Ja, für mich ist aber nicht so, für mich ist es nicht so, dass du jetzt noch weiterhin so der Fulltime Coach bist, ja, sondern ist äh, ja, ist ja, ist für ja. mich ist es eher so on top noch, dass man sich das halt auch anguckt und dass du halt übersetzt meinetwegen. Ja, ja, klar. Weil er hat mir gesagt, er kommt aus dem Auto raus und er weiß eigentlich gar nicht, was er für ein Feedback geben soll. Deswegen wäre wirklich nochmal schön, wenn wir da sitzen und einfach auch nochmal das ganze Prozedere besprechen. Die Frage ist, ob wir es jetzt machen, wenn wir, äh, ob wir das jetzt hier machen oder dann, wenn wir eine Person X haben. Dass wir jemand anderes brauchen, das steht außer Frage. For me, when the Sunday comes, whatever has come before is irrelevant. You know, we have the car set up now, the way it's going to be for the race. Now it's about dealing with what you've got and making the most of it. So for me, there's a part of learning where you have to try and forget everything. Because when there's so much information running around in your head and you're trying to cover all the points that have been told to you, then it just becomes an overload. And you don't have the freedom to actually just drive take it as it is yeah you know what don't stress at all i mean even if you're a second off or something you're not going to change it today in the car anyway so just enjoy it yeah, yeah. even you see if the first five six seven eight laps are not going to plan you know that you will speed up eventually it has been like that all the time michael fassbender rearing himself for a second season which uh, has always I think maintain that he wanted to be a racing driver first and a film star second and, and you could plot the progress of Michael Fassbender's season last year in terms of the learning, in terms of the experience, in terms of the improvement. LMGD on standby. Yeah, Mid exit is open for LMGD. Please head to the grid. But a lot of the incidents that uh, his car was involved in last year, not actually of his own making. He freely admitted he'd made a mistake in qualifying at Ricard last year, but otherwise it was just wrong place, wrong time. I was like, just keep the car on the track and stay in the game, finish the stint, bring the car back. You know, all those mistakes that I made before, eliminate those. One minute board on the grid. Mechanics, please clear the grid. Michael, formation left start now. Work on the brakes. Temperature, welcome. 
LMP3s and GTs, please close the gaps. In position. Leaders, steady pace. It's up to you now to do a good start. Season 2021 about to get underway. Waiting for the red lights to go out. They will do so now. Scampered away from Louis Dillatros, who slots into second place. There's a United Order Sports car off, though. I think that's the 22 machine. Coming into the chicane at 14 and 15. Michael, safety car, safety car. Michael was a hectic first lap, but you did well, you did well. Good job, good start. The plan was possibly to run a longer stint for me if I could do, you know, even one hour 45 straight. And then to make the driver change to Richie. So I thought, look, it's a long race, it's the first lap. Most important thing is to get through the first lap clean and then see when the dust settles and start putting in consistent lap times. Safety car is coming in at the end of this lap. The safety car peels off though, and we're back to green flag running. This is the start of lap five. Tell him maybe one click to the front of the brake balance. He start to have oversteer. Brake, bias, one click to the front. He was dealing with a lot of traffic. <laughs> consistent run from Michael Fassbender. Michael did a very good job, very good first stint. And always he saw also Christian Ried, who is the owner of the team and a gentleman driver. We are uh, looking or comparing uh, Michael. I kept Chris for most of that stint, you know, within um, reaching distance. difference between the lap times of the top pro drivers in GTE and the middle ranking silver and bronze drivers in an LMP3 car. Well, the car in this moment you are you know fighting for every tenth and you want to perform perfect for the team and you know you lose this half a second always in the last sector. So the plan is uh, you hop in after Richie, but Felipe told you already, right? Richie lost some time behind this fucking LMP3. Yeah, he wouldn't let him overtake. He was like so much faster. But we are still in a, in a game. So we're still the opportunity to make the, the step up on the podium. Guys, Michael has to be on standby and prepare. Help is everything. Did you box the step, box the box. Number 5, 31, 31, 40 seconds, 40 seconds. It's name is the big name. Michael, here, check, one, two, three. Check, check, check. Copy, two players, 30 minutes, come on.
Take off, take off, take off. Fahr, fahr, fahr! This was sad. It was a sad stint, yes. I mean, uh, after all this confident, he came back into the car. He did good until uh, a quite optimistic move from an Italian car. Of course, to a crash, always there are two people, but if you look at the video, it's, there was nothing he can do. It was a late, late dive and he got hit. The car was a bit damaged and this moment destroyed the hopes for the podium or for a top four finish. It was the 66 Ferrari going up the inside of the 93 Porsche. As a result, the Proton Porsches slipped back to sixth place now. service, Michael Fassbender comes to the end of his stint. It's going to be a driver change there. Nothing you could have done, man. It's a black and white, it's bullshit, but there's nothing you could have done. Oh good man, it's not your fault, 100%. Huh. Sorry brother. Oh no, 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 he hit you, no problem. I don't think I would have done really any differently. I certainly wouldn't have liked to have left any more room for that car because it just shouldn't have been there. Yeah, it's the right pair, the right pair. Uh, it's very tricky to drive, very tricky to drive. Michael had a hit on the rear left, so if they check the car afterwards, but just finish the hit. This was a car which was yeah, not undrivable, but there was no performance anymore. After a contact, the car is not straight anymore, and there is uh, damage on the car, and Felipe can do nothing. turn up for their first race with so much success in the GT world and Vincent Foss's team take victory at the first time of asking. I think we have to check the rear left when you yeah, got the hit. It definitely because felt strange to me. Yeah. But something, something has to be, Michael said, the Ferrari hit him one time on the rear left and then another time again. I think yeah. something is wrong. Analyzing the race, I think it didn't really matter that Michael had that contact to the Ferrari because the performance on track was really strong. Every driver did an amazing job, we, we performed well. I think what really mattered and what was on our minds after the race was that there was too much going on throughout the race weekend, especially in the build-up to the race itself. We need to bring some sort of calmness in the operation and be, let's say, more prepared for the next race weekend. Yeah, I'm super happy. I mean, this is amazing, uh, dude. I mean, this is a fucking game changer, dude. Yeah, now we just have to, uh, you know, like have goals for every single session, and uh, just you know work very, very, you know, fo like fo Tightly. focused and also, you know, based on plans, not like. Like, you know, last time we were always like back and forth and trying different stuff. Exactly. I really hope that this guy is uh, is putting a um, kind of like a routine into the whole thing. I think he's very motivated as well, so that's good. The major change in Austria was um, the introduction of Andrea. 